Welcome to Unimus 2.2 release overview. The 2.2 codebase has been under development for the last 6 months and brings new major features together with heavy focus on performance, security and stability. Let's look at what's new. We've added support for variables to config push, released the new API version 3, improved the API token management and also put heavy focus on performance with a single Unimus instance now supporting up to 120,000 devices. We have also invested significant time into security improvements. There are also other minor new features on top of 33 bug fixes, 20 security related fixes and support for 12 new device types from 9 different vendors. Let's look at each of the new major features in more detail. The most significant new feature is support for variables in config push. You can define variables on devices and these can then be injected into config push presets, which allows you to create push presets which are generic, but each device substitutes its own values into the config push. With support for variables, config pushes can now behave more like templates and provide more power to the automation capabilities of Unimus. For more details on variables, please check the related article on our wiki. The next major feature is the new API version 3. With the new API v3, we are focusing on providing API feature parity with the web GUI. As the feature set in Unimus has grown, the current version 2 API lagged behind and we aim to fix that with API version 3. There is a new built-in docs GUI inside of Unimus, so you can easily see what and how API v3 offers. There is also now support for running config push from the API, which allows you to automate with Unimus from external systems and solutions. All of this also works with the new variables. Related to the API, we've also improved the token management. Tokens now have descriptions and comments, as well as offering access control if a token should have access to credentials or not. As I mentioned at the start of the video, performance was a heavy focus for this release. We've tested Unimus with 120,000 devices and it was able to complete all device jobs in 2 hours and 45 minutes. We've also worked across all of the subsystems and the GUI screens of Unimus to make sure responsiveness feels good and the system handles the 120k device load without issues. You should however see improvements no matter what your system size is. For example, even with 10,000 devices in the system, all parts of Unimus behave better and respond faster than before. Related to the performance improvements are also our changes to the discovery algorithm. We've implemented a new single connection discovery algorithm and Unimus now behaves much better when only a single credential is available for the device. Previously, even if you had only a single credential available for a device, Unimus would still open multiple successive SSH sessions to the device. We have now isolated a single credential discovery flow, which both decreases the number of SSH connections open to devices, as well as improves performance, since SSH session establishment is computationally heavy. The next major area of focus for this release was security. We've performed an internal security audit of Unimus and all of our codebase in advance of a full penetration test. Unimus will undergo full pen test in March of this year and we will publish the results publicly on our blog. Please follow our blog on more developments on this front. This release also brings other new minor features. For example, we've added the option to set the UI session timeout, updated the NetXMS client library to the latest version, and there is more goodies in the changelog. To see everything that has changed with this release, please check the changelog. As mentioned at the start of the video, security and stability were also a large time investment on our end during the development cycle of this release. In addition to the security, we have also fixed a slew of bugs, issues and UI inconsistencies of various severity. Altogether, 33 various bugs and 20 various security-related issues were fixed. Please check the full changelog for more details. 
As with every new release, in 2.2 we are adding support for 12 new device types from 9 separate networking vendors. As always, if you find any issues or have any feedback regarding this release or Unimus itself, please post on our forums or let us know through any of our social channels or live chat on our websites. Thanks!